on, dude. <laughs> dude. No. Hey, Michael. Hi. Today, unlike yesterday, will be full of success, victory, and no fuck ups. Right, Dad? I reckon. I hope that, so. That is the goal for today. That is the goal. You already put that other radiator on, Michael? Yeah. So now we got a radiator that hopefully won't spew and explode and give us a nice piping hot bath of antifreeze and death. And I done got, where did you put them door panels? There they are. These were the door panels in Jezebel, which were 68 charger door panels. We're going to fix them for Dad's car. And last night I came out here when it was cool. Took them out of my out of Jezebel. Then I got some really funky cool door panels to go back into her. But I also did a little bit of proper work to the car. I painted the upper door pad and lower pad uh, B5 blue, which how they're supposed to be in this car, as you can see with the original door. I'm going to do a little bit of sanding on this to make it look a little less nice. But I got to remove the rear door panels. The back piece there, we're going to put package tray in, which I made yesterday. And possibly my back seat. So that's kind of what we got going on today. And of course, the goal with Dad's car, the '68 Hemi RT, is to finish up the carpet, which looks pretty good so far. Which looks actually done. Uh, it'd be console, fix the door panels, put them in. His back seat, his front seats, just finish it out. So hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have two complete chargers ready for the show hope you guys enjoy i'll see you in the next part there it goes that thing was a pain in the butt there we go speakers from our track player which we set in there with all the extra speaker wire all them years ago when we finished the car finished the car oh so i guess now we gotta clean up the back all right well we got good news it got sunny all of a sudden. Really sunny. They're in. Diamond pattern, which thanks to the sun, really hard to see. You got the blue there. A little bit of touching up to do. By touching up, I mean weathering. We got uh, this side. All done. And everything stripped out of here. I'm going to get. That panel put in, get the back seat, the door panels, and Jezebel will be pretty much done. We got all the parts for Dad's car. Well, I say I go down to the hardware store and try to find me some more of these uh, lag screws for the armrest. Dad, you haven't made much headway since the last video segment. Well, keep getting interrupted. I didn't do it. Carpet looks nice though. Thank you. Michael's cam is broken in on his engine. He's pulling the mufflers off because we can't hear it over the side of that freaking exhaust leak. Look at that. He's already got a header a muffler off. Want me to fire it up for you, Michael? Not yet. Want me to fire it up? No. Want me to fire it up? No. Want me to fire it up? Dick. <laughs> Those are my gloves. I know, I don't have any gloves here. Oh, just be a man and grab the hot muffler. Why don't you? Because I'm filming. Excuse, It's a good excuse, though. Ain't it? Not really. Yeah, you got a point. All right, well, once Michael gets done... I what vagina say. Wow. Wow. Dad. I can't help you, I'm filming. Dad, he's being mean. You believe this crap? All right, well, as soon as Michael's done playing with himself, we're gonna hear this engine run with open headers because that's the way it needs to sound. Yeah. Let's hear it, Michael, with open headers. You gotta give a little bit of throttle.
That sounds a lot better. I ain't no shit. You can actually hear the cam over the exhaust leak. People say this thing ain't gonna run right with our setup. Oh yeah, they're full of shit. Well, I mean, <laughs> it is the whiplash cam designed for low compression engines, not in particularly low compression. No. You got the small valve 516 heads, which are perfect, honestly, for a little 3D3. I mean, this engine will make way more torque than you'll need because you're putting it in a pickup. A short bed at that. Yeah, this engine will. This engine probably makes way more torque than any 440 at stock level. I mean, it's got the big bore, short stroke, the tunnel ram, which really helps with torque. Of course, it'll have big old nasty fender wheel headers, but yeah, I think I don't think it'd get much better. I can't believe we didn't even degree the cam, and it sounds just almost like this cast satellite, which has the same cam. It sounds good. I'm happy with it. What do you think, Dad? Sounds pretty good. Ain't no hammy. <laughs> oh, weird. Sounds way better without the mufflers, that's for sure. But. Yeah, because the mufflers are so quiet that you're hearing the exhaust leak over and it just sounds like poopy. Yeah. Sounds much better. What does poopy sound like? It sounds like... <laughs> like or, or a tractor. Think of that. I thought it sounded more like a plop, plop. Oh, yeah. A plop, 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 plop. <laughs> that's kind of what it sounded like. Kind of like Grandpa Joe's John Deere. Yeah. Sounds kind of like that, but now it does it. Now it actually sounds like a real engine. All right, that I was fun. Done for the day, so. Sweet. I guess I'm gonna go pick up the girlfriend, and then I'm gonna come back and finish Jezebel's interior, then help Dad. Ain't that right, Dad? Oh. He hopes. All right, everybody. I just got back. I got Dad's door panel fixing. It's all glued back together, and I got weight on it. And I figure that's the best way to put weight on it. I got Dad's other armrest, just put some uh, black on it because it was faded really heavily to a gray color. And uh, we're going to get <clears throat> back seat put in, oh, door panels, rear door panels, then the back seat, armrest, window cranks, bottom of the back seat, and Jezebel will be done for now. And then we're going to focus 100% on Dad's car. So we're just maybe set up this little camera, put on some speedy footage. And we're going to get to rocking and rolling. All right, let's get moving. Well, guys. A little bit later in the day, got my girlfriend to work, got back here, my uncle's here, and uh, sat down and visited with the family. Sorry I didn't film much with the little camera, but it was just kind of really boring stuff. But I'll show you what we did. We decided to go with the blue armrest, which not a real big fan of at the moment, but it'll make sense once we have the blue carpet. But the biggest change, Jezebel's original blue back seat and we got the metal pads properly mounted with the diamond tuck not really diamond tuck but the diamond pattern stitching we got the blue armrest in the back which really works we screwed down our wooden uh, package tray put a couple of license plate back there um, haven't fully decided what we're going to do with that package tray but it's easy to take out and redo Still got our blue seat belts hanging down that have been in the car since 1970. But yeah, all done. The window cranks are not clocked right. That sucks. I meant to fix that. That kind of bugs me. Uh, you have no idea how happy I am to finally have this car looking the way I want it. Of course, we got a blue carpet to put in and the diamond pattern uh, front bench seat and the four speed going to go there. There's one of the shift knobs I made. Pretty neat. Of course, Jezebel. Still Jezebel. Just working on her. I kind of forgot how much I liked working on this old girl. I'm so happy to have this blue back seat back in here. I kind of wish I had all my interior redone in blue. I mean, an all a blue outside, blue inside car is a lot of blue, but I really do like it. Um, my buddy Jesse 70 Charger is the same way. It's V5 blue in and out with... Uh, a white top and a white stripe. It's really pretty. Oh, let's roll this window up all the way. 
Oh, wrong one. Uh-oh, hang on. Sorry about that. Had to get the window. Yeah, old Jezebel. She's ready to rock and roll for the car show. I'm done wrenching on her. I love how my blue paint's peeling off here. But yeah, I was real happy to get that painted so that way so that looks right from the inside. Got the underneath. Door panel's got a tear in it, but I don't care. It looks vintage. Well, they are vintage. These door panels are old. Yeah. Just a whole different look for the old girl, that's for sure. Of course, there's the plates and everything. And Dad is currently stalled out. He had to go get parts for his interior, but we're hopefully going to get it done before his rain shows up. Yeah, he's got his back door panels in there right now. And I got glue setting up on another one, which was peeled up. So yeah, we're going to get to work on Dad's car. And this car will be done today if it don't rain. If it doesn't rain. That's it. So anyways, guys. See you in the next part. Pretty. Waiting on parts for that. We're going to have to order something. I'm videoing, Dad. We got Dad's got his carpet printer all done. Back seat needs a lot of work, to say the least. They don't fit at all. That's torn and it's slack. But we got rear door panels in. We got the upper pads for the RTSE. Getting ready to put everything in right here. Rear arm pads. I got the uh, door panels all redone, ready to go in. And uh, just slowly moving along. Just a lot of work. Not a whole lot of time to film. Just want to get as much done as possible. It started to sprinkle earlier and it was like this. Sunny. It was weird. So, we're just trucking along, guys. Dad's car will not be done this weekend because we're missing a little piece out of the console, apparently. So, we're going to have to order that. So, uh, anyways, just keeping you up to date. And I'm going to get to finishing what I can of this interior for now. And here we are. Filming again. Michael, how you feel? Well... How do you like your job of putting the dash together? I'm not liking it. Well, that's the attitude to have. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day, but... Doors are all finished up. Dad's putting the finishing touches on his. Let's see here. Almost making it look like an old Barn Findy original car. Ain't got the nicest interior parts, but that it's way too expensive. Got to put the glove box door on still. No, I can change that out a little at a time. Yeah, just a little bit of money in the future. It's just super expensive. Didn't have the proper 68 radio bezel, so we put my 69 in there. It looks a little bit weird, but we didn't have the right 68, so whatever. <sighs> yeah, he's putting his remote mirror piece in. It is still a 68 RT. Why you gotta be so hostile, Dad? Package trays in. We're gonna be on the hunt for a back seat because this one's all just sorts of messed up. Of course, it'd be nice to find a complete interior for 68 or 9. Michael's having a bad time, so I'm gonna whack away. Oh, yep. Drawing in closer and closer, nearer and nearer. What'd you do, Dad? I'm gonna wait for my old gal away. Oh. I can get out of the way. Sir. Look at that. The only way to work on a Mopar. <sighs> Anyways, I'll show you guys once it's all done. There we go, Dad. I just got that door panel done. That remote mirror deal is a piece of shit. Pain in the ass. Don't put a remote mirror in your car, it's stupid. <laughs> Anyways, Dad, interior looks nice. Yeah, looks nice and original. Some people may hey, say crappy, but I like it. You know, one thing we're missing, Dad, besides your seats and your console, well, we're, we're, the most important epitome of cool '70s funky cool. Funky cool. There you go. Oh, the one piece that was in your car when you did buy it, your footprint dimmer switch. 
Factory original. <laughs> Factory option. Yeah. Let's get it all cleaned up, set your seats back in, and we're gonna have to hunt for some a little parts we're missing. <sighs> what a day. What a day. What a day. I've got an extra socket here. Do you? I guess that Stanley probably won't belong in your end. No, there's a socket I found in Jezebel. It's been rolling around, I don't know why. Okay, I guess we want to end it or do we want to end it once we get your seats put back in it? Are we just going to set the seats in? Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys have seen what the car looks like with the seats unless it looks spectacular. But I appreciate you guys watching this video Labor Day weekend. I'm tell them why we haven't got the console though. Oh, I told them. Yeah. And if I didn't, it don't really matter. But I appreciate you guys watching. Three day thrash, Labor Day weekend. Jezebel's all ready to rock and roll. Dad's car's almost ready to rock and roll. Oh. Got Michael's engine all broken. Runs fine. Runs great. Just one more once over with Jezebel. Her diamond pattern interior. Two-tone blue and black coming together. Once my blue carpet's in here, i thinking about doing a blue headliner as well. And then that diamond pattern bench seat with the four-speed handle hanging way up there it's gonna be really cool oh that is sweet filming dead i figured i will do an outro because it does look better with the seats in there the seats don't even look that out of place look at that seal look at that what engine is in your car dead a slant six. It's got a special mods done to it. A little bit different. A little bit different. Whew. You want to tell people about your engine or do you want me to tell them? Go ahead. Well, that's 426 Hemi block. That'll Brock Victor Jr. Hemi heads. Uh, old school aluminum valve covers from eBay. Keith Black breathers to fit on there. In fact, those are Mopar Performance, I believe. Valve covers. Mopar Performance Cross Ram Twin 625 Street Demons. Dad's favorite carburetor of choice. Uh, Mallory Dual Point Ignition System. Mallory box over there. Aluminum water pump, of course. Uh, manual steering, manual brakes. Factory 440 automatic car with those options with air conditioning now manual drum brake manual steering with an aluminum headed 426 Hemi because dad is a real man he don't need no power brakes or disc brakes or power steering that stuff's for little sissies <laughs> no offense to anybody who likes that kind of stuff I have all that in my car except for I'm getting rid of it well, I'm, I don't have power brakes but you know, all new brakes and or cylinder safe brake cylinders and master cylinder if your stuff is set up right your drum brakes will work just fine of course that didn't shut right the first time real RT 68 originally was f8 dark green with a white top with a white black interior and now it's basically the same thing but a black interior with r4 red which is just what dad's car was in high school slotted mags R4 bright red, white top. It's every dad's car had a flat red hood, which we have. Oh. Sweet. And then my 70, which is pretty well known. Oh. Yeah, those are zip ties. They're there to support the grill. It's kind of broke. Anyways, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an ending to the long three-day weekend of thrashing. And when I say long three-day weekend, I mean it feels like we've been working on them for a week solid. Brothers 383, cams broke in. My 426, which we did not play with today. Uh, and there's my bench seat that's going in, Jezebel. I had the upholstery done to match the door panels, which are vintage. 
Anyway, let's just show you some of the parts that are for my 70 charger. One of which is that 18 spline four speed with a pistol grip shifter. My polished steel and candy red paint scatter shield, which I did myself. And I got custom wood grips for my pistol grip whenever we get ready to put that in. So if you're new, that's kind of what's coming. That ratty blue charger right there is going to get an engine with the amount of attitude that she has. Bam. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one, which will probably be next weekend. More thrashing. Finishing Dad's car 100%. So, see you then. Take care. Bye. The chain and a pair of needle nose pliers. A little scholarization.